tonight we're going to be making something relatively easy. Um, this recipe is good for a weekend brunch um, to be added to different breakfast um, recipes that you're making, or you can just eat it by itself. It goes good with coffee, my favorite. Um, so I'm going to be making it with cassava flour actually, instead of regular flour. I use cassava flour for a lot of different things that I make. Uh, so I'll show you these ingredients and then we'll get to cooking. Okay, so I have my ingredients here to make the, uh, the crepes with cassava flour. So uh, here you can see I have three eggs. I'm gonna use this whole thing of butter. So four tablespoons of butter. I have three fourths cup of cassava flour two cups of milk and again as i stated before you can switch this out with like almond milk or oat milk um, in my opinion regular milk definitely makes this taste better but you know if you have allergies or anything like that like it's you can use something different um, and just a little bit of honey to sweeten this uh, this honey i actually got from delaware and so um, it's local honey, it's unfiltered and raw honey. So I would definitely suggest using honey like this. Um, it doesn't have a bunch of additives or anything in it. And it's just straight raw honey, which is the best for you. And um, just one teaspoon of salt. So let's get into cooking. Okay, so I've added my uh, cassava flour into this bowl. And then I'm gonna be adding my one teaspoon of honey. And my honey is not stored in the fridge or anything, so it's just room temperature. This just makes it a little sweet, but it's a natural um, sugar. So of course that's gonna be way better for you. And here is the butter that I melted in the, frit in the microwave. And then I'm going to be adding this milk. And then I will be adding those three eggs. So I've added all my ingredients in here, uh, my cassava flour, the milk, my three eggs, uh, my honey, a little bit of salt, uh, just to let it taste better. So I have heated my, uh, my stove and I do have a small uh, pan for this just because it's a lot easier when you're trying to flip the crepe. I use just a small frying pan instead of a big one. Um, this makes it a lot easier to flip. So like I said, you don't really need a lot. I'm actually, I don't have a ladle, so I'm just gonna use what I got. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be pouring this in. And, you know, when you think about eating a crepe in like a restaurant or something, um, it's always like really thin. So you wanna make sure you don't make this too thick. Um, so my heat is around like three or four for this. Um, and you can tell, I kinda like to, you know, move the liquid a little bit so it starts to get done on the edges. Okay, so I flipped this. Um, I'll probably actually flip it one more time just to get this side done a little bit um, more. But again, it's kind of like at your discretion. Some like some people like their crepes pretty like soft. I like mine toasted um, a little bit so. Um, you know, just as you're cooking this, make sure um, you're just doing it kind of like how you would like it to taste. Um, so definitely don't put your heat on high, um, just kind of like medium to low heat as this is cooking. And again, instead of oil, I actually used uh, more butter um, and melted that and used that kind of like as my oil base. All right, this is exactly um, how I want it to look. So. Um, again, you just kind of measure this as it's cooking. Uh, I'm going to be cooking the rest of my crepes and then I will show y'all the end product. The crepes that are made with cassava flour. 
Um, and I just added a few things, uh, of course, butter. Um, you don't necessarily have to do this just because it is already pretty sweet. Um, we already sweetened the cassava with honey. Um, here I just have a little bit of some berry sauce. Uh, I put a few bananas on there just for aesthetics, <laughs> but bananas are good. You can always do that. Um, a little bit of powdered sugar or um, maple syrup. So this is also something that um, I use. I, I don't use any kind of um, syrup that has a bunch of additives or, you know, corn syrup and all of that. Um, I only use pure maple syrup and you can find this at the grocery store, but I always look for it at like farmer's markets or um, in my hometown. So there you go. Bon appetit.